All right. I got some stuff here: provolone cheese, some uh, some chicken. I have no idea where this chicken came from. It's just from Nestor's Market, so some kind of chicken. But I like how it's sliced up like that. Um, some bacon. I haven't tried this stuff before, but Two Rivers, pretty good local meat company. Um, I think this stuff is nitrate free as well. Anyway, got some bacon and um, some grass fed ground beef. So, should ask where the beef was grown, but anyway, there we go. And then I got some garlic, and I'm not a huge fan of these things, but I got some of these because I got a bit of pesto sauce left over, so. These are actually pretty good, but this particular one is is really salty. It's got sodium. There we go, 700 milligrams, 29%. That's per half a cup. This stuff is loaded with salt, so um, I hate that about this stuff, but that's that. So, Anyway, I think tonight what I'm gonna have is the chicken. I'm gonna make a stir fry and that's gonna go in there. I'll save this for a burger night, maybe tomorrow. And um, maybe I'll have to do a bit of bacon on the burger. How about that bacon, cheese, burger, tomorrow. All right, so this particular one here, I've got peanut butter. I'm gonna do coconut oil for the onions here, so a little bit of that in there. There we go. Put that away. Don't need the peanut butter. I'll have some zinc and uh, some vitamin D, vitamin C, so I'll have that. Okay, onions. Next up is garlic. Garlic's done. Ginger, garlic. Yep, I leave the skin on my ginger. I'm just kind of not too concerned about it. Next up is a few shiitake mushrooms. There we go. Those. Good. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. And next up is gonna be this stuff here. Hey, while that's in there cooking, I'll add a bit of water to it actually. Just a tiny bit. Water chestnuts. Close to the mix. Then I got some little baby corn and threw that in there. Some broccoli. There we go. Flip some of these guys over. There we go. Put a lid on it. And put that in there. Let's give it some heat. Put a bit of that in there. Get a bit more. There we go. Fridge is looking pretty stocked. I got a a little bit of um, lemongrass in there. That's for a curry that I'm gonna make. And I got some other cool stuff in there too. The last thing I'm gonna add is a bit of sesame oil. Just cause it's got a nice sesame flavor. There we go. Check the temperature. Oh yeah, we're, we're good. That's fine, that's done. Take that off and put it on the lid. And put this guy back down on there. Alright, I broke the chicken up a little bit. I'm just gonna mix this up a little. Gonna add some cashews. There we go. Just put the lid on that because there's a bit of water in there and I'm gonna use that steam to cook up some of that stuff there. 
Well, this is just about done. There we go. Dinner is ready. I'll eat this with a spork. Whew. Just put that on a little foam block that I got in here. A little yoga prop. So, um, yeah. It's gonna be hot. Mm. That's pretty good. That's a good meal. Anyway, right now I'm eating a, one big meal a day and a couple smaller snacks, like usually a smoothie or something like that, or a salad. Or maybe I might have some eggs or something like that for breakfast, but I'm keeping my meals fairly close together in the day. And um, just trying to get into a little bit of a... Um, like a tighter interval with those so that I'm spending most of the day without any food and um, that I think is going to help with uh, just kind of bring some of the weight down that I've put on because I knew all this stuff before but I went through a pretty stressful period not too long ago and I just uh, I eat a lot of food and I, uh, I ate more than I should have, but I, I ate a lot of food. So anyway, I put on about 60 pounds of weight and uh, I can feel it. It's a bit, it's a bit, um, it's a bit tough on the joints and it's, uh, I can't move around as well as I used to. So yeah. I mean, it's okay, it's a bit of a season, something to experience, but anyway, I'm gonna try and shed a few pounds. I, I don't wanna go back exactly to where I was before. Um, I wouldn't mind keeping a little bit of it, so my plan's to do that, but, uh, and who knows, maybe I might actually get a little heavier. I don't think I will though, but what I mean by that is, develop a little bit more muscle mass or something like that but we'll see I want I want to make sure I don't uh, go too crazy or anything like that because uh, I don't want my joints to you know to fail me prematurely in life or you know try and mitigate that as much as I can the idea is to uh, sort myself out and um, you know deal with the you know the, the scar tissue and all that sort of stuff that's kind of gone on in my body but from this point on in my life I think I'm gonna try to be a little bit more sensible about things and um, try and age as gracefully as, gracefully as I can uh, physically and uh, hopefully I know I've been pretty hard on myself but hopefully uh, well, I, I wouldn't say hopefully, that's the wrong word, but I should say by doing that, it's probably gonna be a little bit easier of a road from you know this stage of my life to as I get older. Anyway, that's that. Hey, I didn't film the prep of this, but uh, what I got is onions, garlic, um, some cashews, and then some cauliflower. And that's about it. Right now there's some butter in here. So this I'm gonna add some pesto to, some arugula, and probably just to add some Parmesan. I might add some, some of that mozzarella mix or whatever it is, but we'll see. And I didn't film the creation of this dish entirely because this one, like, I was working while I was making, I was in a meeting and I was chopping stuff up. So I just, 
I did that. It was an emergency work meeting. Anyway, it's good to have the work. It was a bit of a head scratcher though. I'm dealing with some complicated HVAC diagnostical stuff over the phone. And yeah. Anyway, enough said. Dinner. I've added that whole thing of arugula, so I'll just put a lid on it and let that do its magic. Oh, I should put some sauce on it, actually. Let me do that first. That is dinner for tonight. Cauliflower, I don't know what you call that, but it just sort of spoke to me, so there it is. Okay, guys, I put some more of that mozzarella cheese on it. I used up the rest of my Parmesan and added the other stuff. So, initial impressions. darn good I like that anyway I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna eat this and I'm not gonna share it <laughs> oh, it's too good I gotta keep it to myself now I'm gonna watch some uh, Netflix for a couple minutes gobble this down I got a meeting in 10 15 minutes so yeah, another meeting okay see you guys we're just down here Camping along the ocean here and got the fire going and I'm gonna wrap up some spuds. And I think tonight I'm gonna to have a bacon cheeseburger. So uh, while the spuds are cooking, I'm gonna cook up some of this bacon that I bought. And then uh, I only need a little bit of that for the burgers. But uh, yeah, that's the plan. Of course, I wasn't even planning on filming anything today, but uh, except for maybe little clips of the food. I'm trying to put together a little bit of a food compilation for you. I don't exactly know how that's going to look or what it's going to shape up to in, on the video, but yeah. And here I am. I'm unrolling tinfoil and now my conscious part of my brain is going that sound is going to be really difficult to sort out on the editor in combination with my speech. <laughs> okay. Now we got the spuds. And I'm burning some more paperwork. Get in there. We got some bacon cooking up. All right, we'll try that. So, I got a little bit of an operation ahead of me. So I gotta make up the, uh, the burger patties. And not exactly sure I'm gonna do it. So I got this grass-fed brief. I actually cracked it open just to give it a smell test and everything's good. It's been in my fridge for about a day, uh, two days. <clears throat> Provolone cheese. I'm gonna put some sprouts on this burger. In this case, I bought sprouts, guys, because my uh, I finished growing the rest of my sprouts and I ordered some new stuff. Um, so until then, I, I gotta rinse these out. Anyway, I bought some sprouts because I wanted to add some sprouts on this burger. <clears throat> um, here's my buns. And I got some tomato. I got a heirloom. I got some mustard. This was a Christmas present, so I've never seen this stuff before, but I might give it a little taste test. Iceberg lettuce. What else am I going to put on there? Got some mayo. This is a uh, soy free. I'm not big on soy products, so make grapeseed oil. I don't know, there's a part of my consciousness that feels like that maybe that, that might be a better alternative. Anyway. Um, and maybe cucumber. I'll just put that out. I was going to get 
pickle, but I'm stay, trying to stay away from the kind of sugary stuff at the moment. Okay. Uh, my this is part of this is gonna be part of my patty here. So the bun, I've got uh, portobello mushroom. And this is what my hamburger bun is gonna be. And some of you are probably like, what? What are you doing? Just wait. So we'll go in here and we'll cut this part off right here. your bun. So I got this in here. Now what I'll do with this is I'm just going to chop it all up. That's good enough. I don't, I don't need too much of this so we'll do that. <clears throat> in fact I'm not even going to use that. That was kind of a waste. Okay I want this stuff here for sure. All the gills and the edging. I'm gonna put that in here. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna say, the stem that I just threw out in the garbage, I just don't want it because it's, it's gonna take away from the meat patty that I want. I don't want too much mushroom in there. But what you could do is you could take the stem, you could chop it up, like you could put this through a blender, all of this stuff with the stem. And you can mix this up with some like lentils or something like that that you cook up and you can make a really, really like, cook some spices and stuff like that. You can make a really nice vegan, vegetarian, either or, patty out of this stuff that comes out of the portobello mushroom. And you fry that stuff up in like some butter or some coconut oil or something like that. And if you work on that recipe and you play around with it, you can come up with something that's really good. Uh, there's one restaurant in Whistler Village that does a really good job of this. It's called the Naked Sprout, and they they, they actually don't even cook it. They use they do all of this in a dehydrator, so it's a it's completely raw um, portobello burger. Anyway, uh, so Shandy, if you're watching this video, she's she's the owner of that place. I'm kind of borrowing your portobello. I've done this a couple times since you introduced this to me, but I, I do this occasionally, so I'm sharing it now on YouTube. Anyway, that's going to mix in with my uh, grass-fed beef here. So I'm just going to break this up a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to add this in here. I'm going to mix it up in this tray because I don't want to have raw meat in my bowl. I'd rather just keep that kind of clean. Okay, so I'm going to add a bit of ketchup inside of this. Not much. Oop, that's too much. I just 
want a bit of a flavor. Put a little garlic in there. And that's about it guys, and I'm just going to mix this up, I think that's going to be good enough. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this up outside because it's obviously getting a little bit messy inside the van. And um, what I'll do is I'll end up cooking this on the, um, the fire um, grill itself. And so I'll just toast it like you would toast a bun. And... Um, and then this I'm gonna fry up in a pan. So I got enough here for more than a burger. So I'm, what I'll do is I'll make two patties and I'll save one in my fridge for later and I'll just kind of, or maybe I'll make some meatballs or something out of it. But I'm gonna only have one burger. So I'm only gonna eat half of this meat and mushroom mixture tonight inside of this burger with all these lovely things on it. Okay, so far bacon's done up nice. These uh, mushroom caps have done up really well. Bacon's done, and then these burgers are just about finished. Okay, you guys, so here we got it. I got two slices of provolone, sprouts. There is a bit of mustard and mayo down in here under the sprouts. Onions, tomato, which is right there. Lettuce, mayo, and bacon right on the top. So that's a pretty fat burger, but I'm going to try and tackle it. Mm -hmm. 